welcome to another edition of Almost Martha. And today I'm going to be making something because Mark has been away for a few days and he put his order in for something that he wants. I gave one earlier in the week to some friends of mine and they loved it. And he said, oh yeah, I want one of those too. So today we're going to be making something out of the Leopard Family Cookbook. We're going to be making buttermilk pie. Mmm, buttermilk pie. I know for those of you that don't know or don't like buttermilk, it doesn't sound so great, but believe me, it is. And it's so easy, even Mark could do it. But he won't, so <laughs> I'm going to make one for him. So give me just a few minutes. This is going to be super easy and you're going to love it. You're going to make it on repeat. I gave this to a friend of mine many years ago and he asked for the recipe about three hours later. And then in that one week, he made three of these. So it's addictive. <laughs> okay. All right, let's get started. <laughs> Well, the first thing we're going to do is make a very quick crust. I know people are afraid of making crusts, but it's really super easy. Like I'm going to show you. So I have here one and a half cups of all purpose flour. I'm going to put in a big pinch of salt. Yeah, probably a big pinch. Throw that away. And this I'm going to just mix in here a little bit. Actually, I could just put it right in the food processor and let that do the mixing for me. And here we go. The next thing we're going to do is take a stick of butter. This is unsalted butter. And I'm going to cut it into little pieces and just put it right into the food processor and then process it just a little bit with each addition. Very easy, very easy. Okay, we're almost done. One big piece of butter left. Now it'll start to resemble something that looks like cornmeal once you get this butter in there. And that's sort of what you're, what you're looking for. Okay. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add some cold water. So I had, I just have a little measuring cup where I put water and ice. So you really want ice cold water. So about three tablespoons, I'll put in one, two, I'm going to add my third, okay, okay, I'm going to put one more. Really starting to pull up now, you can tell. Okay, you can you can sense it's beginning to form a dough. Okay, so now we it's formed some balls in there, so that means we have a dough. We have a pie crust on our hands. So I'm just gonna put all this away get some parchment paper, and then we're going to roll this out. Okay, I'm going to take my dough and just plop it right here. Thank you, Mr. Food Processor. And I'm going to put it all together. And now I'm going to roll it. So I have a piece of wax paper here. You can use parchment paper. And I have a very heavy rolling pin, which is great for this. So we're going to roll it out. Okay. 
And of course we want it to cover an entire little, you know, pie pan. So remember we're looking for a round shape and we want it to be not too thick. but not super thin. So this is a, a recipe for just a one crust pie crust. So there's no, there's no topping on this crust. Okay. All right. So I'm just going to take my little pie pan. Yep. That'll, that'll about do it. I'm just gonna plop it right in my pie pan. Okay, so now we, we have fitted it to our little pie pan and I'm just gonna press it down and I'm just gonna sort of work on what the what the edges are going to look like you want it to sort of go over the edge a tiny bit that'll help it sort of to grab it as it as it bakes okay it's going to get it all pressed in here don't want it to overlap too much but just a little bit just a little bit okay okay all right, so you can do all kinds of fancy things with your edges, but I'm a simple girl. I'm just going to take a fork and I'm going to crimp it right to the pie pan. I've seen rollers. I've seen all kinds of stuff that you can use, and that's good. That's good. I'm just going to take my fork and I'm going to slightly prick the crust. Not all the way through to the bottom, but just enough, just enough. Okay, so this is good to go because our buttermilk pie is baked in an unbaked pie shell. But what we wanna do is take this pie shell and we're gonna put it in the freezer for about 30 minutes. So it's gonna be nice and frozen. So it's not gonna over bake in the oven. So I'm gonna stick it in the freezer and then in about 15 minutes, I'm going to make the filling because the filling is so fast. It's just going to be super easy. But pie crust into the freezer, and then we'll go from there. Okay. I have my, uh, my oven on. So it is preparing for the pie. And now I'm going to make the buttermilk pie ingredients to go in the pie shell that we just made. Yes, Annie, I am. Yep, I sure am. I sure am. So we're going to start with one and a quarter cup of sugar. And I have softened three tablespoons of butter. So what that barking means is that our neighbor is home. <laughs> so it's going to be sad for Miss Annie. Our neighbor is going to move and she's going to miss her so much, so much. I know we have some dog lovers moving in, so maybe that will help, but oh my goodness, he is going to miss her. And she also has, she has a cat next door that she's also very interested in. Very, very interested in. So Many hours of the day, wild away. So now I have my sugar and my three tablespoons of butter, just regular butter. Uh, right in here. So I've creamed that together. Looks pretty good. And now we can start to add the other ingredients. So add flour and I just have one tablespoon of flour. So this is really just to thicken the pie. So I'm going to mix that in with my sugar and butter. Okay, very good. Make sure we all get in there. Well, that's good. Okay, 
so now it says mom as mom right there hi mom <laughs> so add flour then remaining ingredients and mix well and don't overbeat so don't overbeat it so that just means don't you know don't overmix it so i guess it's pretty clear so i'm going to take my eggs i'm going to put them in a bowl you know i don't like to put eggs right into my bowl i want to make sure I don't get any errant shell in there. Okay. I'm going to take a fork. I'm just going to whisk these eggs a little bit. Make sure the yolks are broken. Don't overbeat. Remember that. Okay. Then my eggs go. Mix that right in. I also have some vanilla. And I'm using my pure vanilla bean paste, about a teaspoon and one to grow on because I like a lot of vanilla. And I have buttermilk. Now, if I could find full fat buttermilk, I would totally use it, but it's really hard to find. So I have light buttermilk, but that'll work just fine too. And that's a half a cup, half a cup of buttermilk. And I know, you know, you got to buy, you got to buy a whole container here of buttermilk. But buttermilk also makes a wonderful chocolate cake. You will find it in recipes for chocolate cake. Really, really good. Buttermilk is nice and thick, and it's a little bit tangy. So it really makes a great chocolate cake. So this, this particular pie is reminiscent of a chess pie, which is an old southern favorite. I'm trying not to overmix, Mom. I'm trying not to overmix, but I want to make sure I get the sugar lumps in there. It doesn't have to be completely smooth. I totally get it, but we don't want big hunks of sugar in there. Okay. But you can use buttermilk in numerous things. Also makes great cornbread if you like cornbread. I make a mean jalapeno cornbread. I'll show you that one day too. And buttermilk is good in that, along with many other things. Okay, I think we're I think we're good. So I'm gonna grab my pie shell and we'll get going. Okay, here is our lovely unbaked pie shell that we have had in the freezer, which sort of brings that butter back to a to a nice uh, super cold state and that means when it bakes that butter is going to create nice flakiness within that pie crust that's no so nice and cold okay all right and that's it that is our buttermilk pie so in it goes into the oven and we're going to bake it at 325 for about 40 to 45 minutes. So just keep looking at it. We want that crust to be nice and brown. The top may brown just a little bit, but that'll be fine. It's gonna be so good. Okay, and it goes. Okay, here it is. Oh, yeah. Nicely browned, nicely browned crust. Little browning on top of the actual pie. There's really no topping, there's no meringue, there's no anything like this on top of the pie. Now we're just gonna let it cool completely and I'll let you know how he likes it. <laughs> okay, here we go. It's the next day. So I came home from work and it's pie time. So hold on. Mmm. Mm -mm. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. That is really good. That is really, really good. I think I'm surprised every time I make this pie how good it is. Crust is really good. Pie itself is really good. Mm. It just kind of screams for a cup of coffee, though, I gotta say. Boy, that is really good. So, if you want to make this buttermilk pie, you go to almost martha.com. And the recipe is there along with all of the other recipes that I've made. And 
it's so easy. You saw it, right? Even Mark can do it. So you can do it too. You can do it too. So almost-martha.com. Thank you, mom, for the recipe. Thanks for putting it in the Leopard Family Cookbook. And I'll see you guys next time right here on Almost Martha. Thanks, guys. <laughs> mm.